Hi guys, what's going on? And welcome back to another episode of Total War Attila. This time we're looking at the 1212 AD mod and we've sort of uh, had a bit of a go at setting out the Battle of Cressy. So we've got the French moving up to the north uh, of us. So the English lines are set out in sort of three blocks. We've got uh, the English sort of heavy dismounted knights, the men at arms, all on foot, which is sort of how the English tended to prefer to fight. And we've got all the longbow, longbowmen set out uh, in a defensive line. There's sort of three bastions, three bastions of men at arms, uh, each surrounded by the archers, which is how the battle was deployed. One uh, controlled by the Duke of Northampton, uh, the Black Prince, and Edward the Third. Um, I've also made use of, use of a few barricades to try and offer some protection. So to the north, uh, the French are starting to move in. They are obviously made up, built by large amounts of mounted knights, men at arms. Um, all on horseback with long spears and lances. They're also supported by around 6,000 mercenary Genoese crossbowmen. These Pavese crossbowmen, obviously quite famous with their thick uh, Pavese shields, which they use for cover as they reload. Um, they also had sort of a pretty unspecified number of just uh, assorted, described as common infantry. So <laughs> I've sort of just made that up of sort of a period infantry. So the whole lot is starting to move up. To our positions. Now in reality the English actually were very successful here and took very minimal amount of casualties. Uh, they, 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 by four o'clock in the afternoon as the Genies uh, Pavese crossbowmen moved up they actually got uh, heavy rain and they basically got all their strings caught and lost a lot of ground. Oh just a big smash there as the French cavalry smashed straight into the English men-at-arms. It is a strong hit that has caused very heavy casualties. I don't know if some of these people are going to get back up on their feet. I think it's not a good start for us uh, as the English. That's some very heavy casualties. The archers are going to continue to lay down some base of fire. Oh, some vicious arrow strikes as some of the French cavalry start to beat retreat. Uh, so some of the Ginny's crossbowmen have opened up on our uh, sort of heavy dismounted knights. Oh, God, it's absolute chaos. So many of them. <laughs> it's a bit of a good test for my uh, computer, this is. Uh, so, the our longbowmen are sort of pulling back uh, a little bit further behind the lines as we start to get the infantry advancing. Obviously, we want our friendly infantry to meet um, the our friendly infantry and uh, not the longbowmen to get engaged. So these guys are hopefully going to retreat back a little bit behind our own lines and form up again. Try and get these guys to sort of to try and try and sort of reform to keep up the fire on the French as they move in. So some of these uh, longbowmen here, what they're shooting? Some of the French to the north. Ah, I had forgotten. We've got some units of uh, hoblars. They're called. These are sort of light mounted skirmish cavalry. Um, by recording, there, was, there wasn't that many of them uh, on the English side at the battle in the time, but there was some. So the French have sort of pushed through the, the first line of barricades and first line of archers and are now pushing onto the second line, onto the English heavy infantry. These are all the French common infantry, as, they, as they're so called, uh, engaging the heavy dismounted English knights with our pole arms. Uh, our superior armour should allow us to have a fairly good stand here, I would hope. Uh, but I don't know if that's necessarily going to be the case. Got to watch out. Let's just bring the UI back up slightly so we have some concept of what's going on here. Um, so basically, there are archers everywhere trying to keep down uh, a base of fire as they pull back from the main, main enemy lines. Um, our infantry seem to be holding out quite well on some of the separate bastions, which is obviously a good thing. Um, move the English King. Uh, not that Edward would really get involved in the fighting like this, I don't think, but uh, in this case, needs must. Uh, so the Genovese crossbowmen are laying down still a pretty good base of fire and haven't really taken very many casualties um, yet, so they obviously haven't received much in the way of arrow fire themselves. Uh, I think most of our archers have been focusing fire on uh, the French units. Perhaps let's get them to start to focus a little bit of fire on some of the enemy units here. Ooh, look at those, these French cavalry 
Got decimated down to a man. Always oh, still alive. Oh, there he goes. He got hit by <laughs> hit by an arrow. Oh, so it does look. A, it does. Uh, this mod is just looks absolutely fantastic. Obviously, it completely overhauls Total War Chiller and turns everything into uh, sort of it's basically like medieval Total War Three. Uh, I think the units look amazing. I love the sort of diversity you get in the armor and patterns. Oh, the, the like, lightly armored archers. These are the longbowmen. Like the variety of different like cattle helms and conical helms and all sorts. So what's going on there? Uh, let's have a little bit of a look over here. Wow, a lot of French infantry uh, committed against our poor knights here. Are sort of a little bit looking a little bit lonely. Uh, even looks like the, the French generals are getting involved as well. Um, so really our archers are sort of struggling a little bit uh, against the numbers of some heavy French spear infantry advancing on our units of archers. They're trying to use their uh, shields as cover but they're wavering now from the volleys of uh, very effective English arrows. Obviously this is one of the classic battles referred to when sort of the old... Uh, crossbow versus uh, longbow argument where the longbow in this case was particularly successful and it obviously was a lot more successful against the previous crossbowmen than the, that they were uh, in return has fallen. Our victory grows ever nearer. keeping up a good fire against the French cavalry some of the English lines have still managed to uh, actually hold out which is obviously a good thing Start to advance them against some of the Genovese crossbowmen. Now, you guys can stop running away and make a bit of a stand, I think. Um, and then you guys need to start focusing on some of these uh, enemy crossbowmen that are, are sort of being such a threat to us. If you can. Oh, these guys are sort of pulling back a bit, so they're going to have to move up to get into range. Looks like some of our English knights are driving the French back, ploughing into them as they try and pull out. Ooh, wave of crossbow fire there. Some brutal fighting going on. I think my computer's struggling a little bit with the amount of men involved in this melee. We'll slow down ever so slightly. Some excellent battle animations in this. The knights absolutely pummeling the shields of the French spearmen and the French common infantry, light infantry. Feels a bit silly calling them common infantry, I don't know what we should call them. Oh, some of them look like they're pulling back a little bit, starting to wrap from the fight. English look like they might be holding them off. Let's commit to the rest of these uh, knights to help get involved with the fight. So now we need to start to move back up all these English longbowmen who pull back a little bit at the start of the battle. Um, and start to get a bit more involved against uh, some of these crossbowmen because these are the next threat that we've got that we really need to deal with. Uh, our king is... Old Edward is struggling a little bit by the looks of it. So I hear some of the uh, voice animation still need a little work. I think someone just shouted victory for Rome there. <laughs> So hopefully it looks like we're getting some arrow shots now into these Pavia's crossbowmen, or there's still quite a lot of them left. Um, so we've still got quite a bit of killing to do. Obviously once they hit the reload, um, they take cover behind their shields, which gives them quite a lot of defence. Hopefully we can keep up some arrow fire against them. At these guys here. Uh, so, since some of our infantry are now in the clear, let's try and get stuck in against some of these uh, crossbowmen. The oh, I think the, these crossbowmen have realised their error, they're trying to get out of it. <laughs> They've been caught in the rear by some of the English knights. Oh, they're going to make their stand and fight. I can't imagine they're going to do particularly well with just a sword uh, against such heavily armoured knights. Oh, he's gone down. these archers to keep their fire up. I'm starting to run out of arrows if we're not careful. Our men have regrouped. Get 
Oops, some of our longbowmen seem to have got caught right on the other side of the map. Uh, it looks like a bulk of the French infantry are now in full retreat. Um, our crossbowmen are trying to keep up fire against these Genoese. Start to advance a little bit quicker. Keep, you can't keep these guys keep trying to catch up with these Genoese infantry. Charging them as they try to get away, but no, they've got caught up in the fight as well. It's just so satisfying watching these battles. <laughs> Particularly these heavy armoured English knights. They've not got a shield, but with their two handed pole axes. Poor man's been pressed a little bit quite hard. He did a very good job of defending with his sort of falchion. Oh, he's gone down. Our men are breaking up. Oh, these guys are taking a lot of arch casualties. You can see them all on the ground where they've been shot down by the English longbowmen. Looks like the sort of uh, the, the damage that the longbow can inflict got very good armour penetrating properties at much longer range than the crossbows. Although I still think at short range, even at this period in time, um, the crossbows had superior uh, kinetic energy at very short range. They were able to really inflict very heavy amounts of damage. I mean, they're struggling a bit against these crossbowmen. I think uh, they're pretty exhausted now, which is why they're starting to run away. They've been in the fight for quite a long period of time. So we'll have to use these long moments to start to get some fire down on these. Oh, God, what a volley of arrows there. That killed a lot. Some more arrows plowing into these crossbowmen. There's still quite a few crossbowmen left in the game that we've yet to deal with. Looks like most of these guys have reformed. If we can reform and keep up the charge, I guess. If we're not careful, some of our units are going to be running out of arrows a little bit here, which is going to be our biggest problem. Well, it looks like we may have a remaining unit of hobblers. Obviously, always useful to have some remaining English cavalry. I think these hobblers are supposed to be like a light sort of scout cavalry. They're not really designed to, uh, for any heavy endurance fighting. But hopefully they should be good against attacking some Genovese crossbowmen. I was thinking, as I was sort of reading around this battle a bit before I made this video, it seems sort of one of the controversial issues is how many crossbowmen were actually involved in this battle. Um, sort of contemporary sources put it at very high, like around 10,000, but um, more modern sources have argued that you know, um, that France itself could only summon something like uh, 2,000 crossbowmen. So the idea that the, the Genoese supplied quite so many uh, crossbowmen is just unrealistic. So let's keep up the fire against these crossbows. Hmm, not getting very many kills on that, that shot, is it? It seems to be mostly shooting the ground. Our hobblers did not have a lot of luck. I think they uh, struggled a little bit defeating these, cross these Genoese crossbowmen. I think they started to take quite a lot of arrow fire themselves. Still kind of all to play for this match. It looks like uh, some of our longbowmen have ran out of arrows to have gone in for the sword kills. Oh, a flag bearer is stabbing someone. Uh, we've kind of got these guys attacked to both ends. So these guys might do okay. Uh, we're keeping up fire against these mercenary crossbowmen. I think quite a few casualties still. Although some of our longbows are taking quite a lot of damage as well. So these guys are out of ammo. So we might as well get them stuck into the fight. Anyone who's got no ammo. I'm certainly more than welcome to use a sword. It looks like most of these enemy crossbowmen are still pretty well equipped ammo rise. So we're really going to have to start to get some of our people stuck in here. Uh, 
some of our units are retreating from the edge of the map. Well, it's certainly not quite the uh, famous English victory as, uh, as I had hoped. It seems my battle commanding skills are not quite the same as Edward III. So we'll just charge these uh, longbowmen who have ran out of ammo. We still seem to have ammo. These guys don't. Let's get these stuck in. guys are advancing across the battlefield. We're trying to drive off these mercenary crossbowmen but whether they're we're going to be actually realistically able to catch up with them I'm, I'm not so sure. Obviously we're now taking a lot of fire as we advance and we don't have the heavy crossbows that the uh, Genoese do either which makes it a little bit harder. We can fast forward this little bit as our troops advance. Yeah it looks like they're going to scatter and try and avoid the fight which is probably wise considering they have so much ammo left uh, compared to us. I can get everyone to get stuck in and chase these guys down. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to reach any easy, decisive conclusion in this match because uh, it's just turning into a long chase. Everyone's just going to be knackered by the time any fighting happens because they've run all the way across the map. I don't know, they must have to make a stand at some point because they're running out of running out of room sooner or later. Uh, most of our units have run out of arrows now. Um, so we'll move these guys up to the next point. Some of these units are quite exhausted so they can't run very fast. But these guys are about to hit the edge of the map so they're going to have to stop. Um, and be taken into the back by the, uh, the longbowmen. I don't know if we're more likely to win or not. We They probably still outnumber us, so there's got a reasonable chance of them being winning, and we are now exhausted. They have got reinforcements on the way, and they're not yet here. Same as here. Oh, no, don't stop. Get involved, get stuck in. To the back of these Genoese. That's a full strength unit they've got to face off against there. So they're going to have a bit of a hard time, certainly. And all our units are completely exhausted. We'll move up more men, but it seems unlikely we're going to get anywhere in time to do anything effective. And we've reached one of the first units of enemy crossbowmen. Well, still some of our knights are still in the battle. They're absolutely shattered by now. Having fought off all the French infantry and then charged halfway across the map and still fighting on. Hopefully, though, it should be quite effective against the enemy crossbowmen, I would expect. Hopefully, these guys are soon going to waver and break. Which is obviously what we want to happen. You guys can do with advancing up a little bit quicker. Uh, a bit of a tough fight going on here, but they're very confident, whereas our guys are a bit shaken and a bit worn out. Uh, doesn't look like the enemy have actually yet taken any casualties. Oh, he's about to charge into the back of them. And I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Just turned to do a bit of a random mix of fighting going on over there. That looks good to look like one of the units of these crossbowmen is routed. It's just a case of mopping up the battlefield here. I think we'll probably end the video here. This has just turned into a bit of an, a bit of an uninteresting uh, melee at the end. But it just goes to show this is really an awesome mod. You can do so much. And I do think the units uh, look particularly cool. Oh, so he's got, these guys have even got maces. <laughs> um, I think this will be a lot better playing this on sort of multiplayer with uh, lots more different options. But what an interesting battle. It's not quite the... Uh, glorious English victory with only sort of 300 casualties that I had intended but still uh, hopefully it gives a good display of what 1212 AD is all about. Um, it's quite easy to install you can download sort of the base mod pack through the Steam Workshop and then that talks you through the rest of the installers that you need um, and then you can have these epic sort of 5,000 uh, side battles. I mean look we had 10,000 men in that battle 
Um, and that's pretty awesome. And that's pretty easily accessible for everyone, as long as you've just got Total War Attila based game. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that sort of not very historically accurate Battle of Cressy. Um, it was good fun to make, and I've quite enjoyed doing it. So, thanks for watching, and I shall see you all on the next video.